All right, so let's get started. So first off, Canva, what, what is it? Like, what are the capabilities there? Because it goes beyond just, you know, a social square. That's kind of what I'm focusing on today because it really is the most simple thing you can do on there um, and very applicable, I believe, to all of us and our businesses. But you can also do posters, sticker, like make your own stickers, brochures, um, Facebook cover photo, even ads. So if you're thinking about sponsoring some Facebook ads um, or, you know, Google ads for yourself, instead of working out a huge budget, um, you can really, you know, generate that content yourself um, online and, and get quite, quite good at it. It's truly instructionless. Um, meme generators, memes go a long way. People tend to love to be entertained, right? Half the reason we're on social media or maybe more is is just uh, purely to be entertained. So those tend to get a lot of likes and shares. Um, I'm going to show you one that uh, one of our brokers actually created out of just a funny picture and it's managed to get her a lot of traction over the years. Um, you know, invitations, gift certificates. So if you want to do client thank you gifts or, or something, and, you know, it's always better branded, truly, you know, you want to create some great brand recognition here, especially, you know, the times that we're in, they're a little bit more difficult in this market. Um, so really the best thing we could be doing is working not just in our businesses, but on our businesses. And a great way to do that and to, you know, make yourself recognizable across the board is to use, you know, synonymous branding and make sure that you stand apart. I actually heard something recently that really um, rang true for me and it was about realtors, but I'm gonna apply it to mortgage workers too. And it was, what are the top two reasons um, why a client would, you know, other than having a bad experience, of course, why a client would not use the same realtor or mortgage broker again. Uh, the first reason was truly that they just didn't know that it mattered to them. So, you know, that broker, obviously never had that conversation with them. That was, you know, I work off of referrals. They're the backbone of my business. Like, please don't keep me a secret. You know what I mean? Those conversations that I hope you guys are all having. If you need help with wording too, I've heard a lot of different versions, so I can help you out. Um, but truly they just didn't know. They didn't, you know, realize that it really mattered to them. And the second reason uh, was that they didn't remember their name. Yeah. So it's that simple, like years down the line, you know, we, we're all human, we can't be expected to remember everybody's name that we've ever, you know, worked with or come across. And so that's, to me is on the realtor, because they failed, in that instance, to take that opportunity to con you know, keep in connection with their clients. Um, and a really great way to do that is connect with them on, you know, social media, take 10 minutes a day, to go and write personal comments, engage in what others are doing, post your stories, you know, continuously posting social squares and things like that. So that you're top of mind um, and they don't forget you, you know, when it comes to your area of expertise and, you know, maybe their next purchase or refinance. Um, T-shirts, mugs. Okay, so really the sky's the limit here. You get out what you put in with a lot of these robust systems. Um, it can also be plugged in to certain things like with open API connections. Um, I realize that might not make a lot of sense to you guys because not all of you started out in the tech industry, um, but it basically means you could have it talk to your platform to, back and forth, which is really, really cool too. We're going to focus on the simple stuff today though. So don't worry, you know, very, very basic. I just wanted to show you an example. So this is Sherry Corbett. Uh, she's one of our mortgage architects agents here in Ontario. And she created this um, Facebook cover photo. Um, she said it only took her about one or two minutes um, to do in Canva. So just to give you an example of how easy it is, just plug in, you know, your logo, maybe a picture that you like, um, keep photo of yourself and that's it. Truly, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> uh, another example here is speaking of memes and, you know, entertaining content. Tell me you look at this picture and you can't help but read uh, the caption here, right? Because this is a curious picture. Skeleton hanging on a door. Oh my goodness. Like, you know, that's funny. So truly, this is just a photo that she had in her phone from, you know, a past Halloween or something. And she decided, I'm going to put you know, slap a, a comment on it when doing your mortgage, you can't scare me kind of thing. And she actually has said that over the years, she repeats this around Halloween time and it does get her a lot of traction and even shares because memes are very shareable. We are very self-centered human beings. It's just the way that we are. We're always, what's in it for me. And if it's a laugh, you know, 
great they're sold so um sharing content we always want to make help make others laugh and share those things that entertain us throughout our days so this is extremely digestible shareable and applicable this is another one um, that was, again, just a photo. She was out hiking and I guess got stuck in this Craig and then decided to, again, caption it, make it a funny meme. And this took her all of like 30 seconds. So that's really how easy it is. You can, you know, go through your phone maybe and you maybe you have a funny picture from the weekend or something that you think is shareable. Um, and you can think of a quick caption that applies to, you know, your business or inviting others in and, and why not, you know, put it out there, see how it does, see how it performs. Okay. So here is the importance of remaining consistent. Uh, you never know who's watching. So this was a post that she also made in Canva. Um, again, super, super easy to do. Um, she just kind of slapped her signature on it and used those, those handy dandy mortgage calculators. Um, you guys all have them, I'm sure in, in velocity, or if you're, uh, have a, a phone application, you have a client facing one, like we do at MA, just go and do some basic calculations and, you know, a real life scenario to point out, um, the differences in, in different payments or things like that. Cause here she's, you know, providing a solution and you know, what happened here, actually, this is a great story is that she threw this out there and then she had a realtor uh, in her area who she'd never spoken to before actually approach her and say, this is great content. You know, can I share this with my audience? Can I use this? Of course, her answer was yes. That spiraled into, you know, a beautiful referral partner relationship, not just with that realtor, but their entire team. So you just, you never know who is watching. Um, even if you only get like five likes on something, that's kind of normal, right? We don't all plow through social media with the intent of liking every single thing that we're looking at. Um, so just because, you know, maybe you're not getting a million likes, it doesn't mean that people aren't seeing it, appreciating it, even sharing it with their friends, things like that. Um, so the more bite-sized and digestible you can make it, the the more shareable, the better, because um, if it's repeatable, then it will be repeated. If it's not, then it won't. All right, so quick, I'm going to take you through a demo on Canva now. I'm going to show you how I turned this kind of templated one into this um, more personal one. And I'll even show you how I generated this um, QR code, because those since the pandemic have really come back, especially if you're doing something, you know, in print um, and show you how to make that and, and really put it onto here. And it's add your logo. It's super simple. It's going to take, I'm going to say around a minute, maybe even less. Okay. So I'm on Canva here. Um, worth noting, there is a free and a paid version. I started out with the free version. Um, I actually created this presentation and a lot of the stuff that I'm sharing with you today, I created myself on Canva too. And I've never watched a single how-to video or anything because it's just that easy. You really don't need to. So when you go on the website, you can already see all the options that it presents. You got, um, you know, social, is it social media content you're wanting to make? You can even edit videos in here, which is handy, especially if you've ever looked into video editing software. It's not the cheapest. Um, so having it combined with Canva is great. Uh, thunderstorms are on top of you. Oh, no, Jerry, stay safe. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not go outside and hug a flagpole. <laughs> yes, yeah, so and we're having a quite a summer stormy day in Ontario today. Um, Instagram, um, social squares or stories or Facebook, I get asked a lot, you know, what's the difference? Um, not much other than really sizing. If it were me um, and you're wanting to create one that will go across both, I would choose the um, Instagram format because it can easily convert to Facebook but not so much the other way around. Um, if it's like a rec very rectangular photo, and you try to use it on Instagram, it's going to chop it because um, Instagram really uses that square formatting. So just keep that in mind. If you're wanting to create one for both, use the Instagram format um, and then that can easily convert to Facebook. Cover photos here um, and they'll even give you, you know, tons of templates to pick from. So you're not starting off with a blank page. 
Um, you can use their inspiration here. You know, you can, if you want, start off from scratch, um, but there's just tons of beautiful examples and every single element in here is changeable too. So if I wanted to change the colors, um, the text, add my own logo, add my QR code, whatever it may be, that is super easy to do. And again, God, this is not um, sponsored or supported or anything by Canva, this presentation. This is just really me, my opinions and, you know, sharing with it with you guys. Um, so the limits are, you know, pretty vast here. You can even do web design, um, whiteboards. I think that that's something like fun and interactive, but take a look through and maybe you're not feeling inspired yet. But then once you, you know, oh my gosh, cute dog. Once you do go through, um, you you will feel inspired and, and kind of, you know, something might hit and, and uh, you can just get creative and run with it. So here's the social square, as promised. I just picked a template um, from the available ones and there's tons of free ones too. So you don't, you really don't need to jump to the paid version. Um, I believe it's, it's around 150 a year. I don't, I don't, again, I don't know that for sure. It might've changed. So um, if you're looking into pricing, um, it's it's all going to be available on the website, but you can see some of them with the crown here says that it's the pro. So that's the paid one. Uh, but then this one, for example, is for free. Okay. So as I have my mouse, I can see that every element is clickable. So I can change everything I want here really. And when I do click on it, it shows me the, um, changeable opportunities. So let's say I want to, maybe my colors are green. Okay. Go ahead, change that color. Maybe I don't want a light bulb here. Um, even though actually it does go along quite nice with the, um, the theme. So maybe I do want that light bulb. Um, but I'm going to add my logo. So if I want to add an image on the left side here is where you can add different elements. Okay. So this is to add text. Um, different elements allows you to do things like uh, kind of clip art pieces or little, you know, animated GIFs, things like that to uh, make it stand out. I think when you do have a little bit of animation, not only do you look that much more creative, um, but it does tend to gather a bit more uh, attention from people, right? Because it's moving across the screen. So it's an eye grabber. Um, so lots of different formats here. Even you want a funky frame for a photo, um, search out at the top if you have something specific in mind. Um, draw, you can even draw on it. Okay, add text. So I'm going to start off by just adding in my photo. Um, and you know what? It's pretty easy because you can also, I believe, Oh, okay, it doesn't want to do that. You can copy and paste though. So if you have um, like text on the side, et cetera, it's not that you have to come and retype everything. It's very easy to just um, copy and paste it. Okay, so editing the text, I just clicked on it and I'm going to put in, I'm going to make this, um, you know, more uh, of a mortgage themed quote. So did you know? And then maybe I'll put like many borrowers use gifts as down payment. Okay. You can make this anything you want, you know, mortgage time for your mortgage checkup. Um, how are your, you know, feeling with your family finances, anything like that, that, you know, really truly is best if it does have a call to action, um, will help you stand out and remind people that you are available and your services. Okay. So I just, to add another text box, I just went and clicked on it. And then here I can add either a subheading. Um, you can make it as big or small as you want. This is um, more of a kind of contact thing here. So click or scan to book a free mortgage checkup. So maybe I'm going to put that there. And then obviously I need to make this clickable. Okay. Um, and I need to add my QR code. So to add a link, you just, same as you do it on Word or anywhere else, you just highlight the word. And then you go and you add uh, the link button. So this is offering to link it right here, or you can right click as well and it'll go link. And then you just really just paste in the URL that you want it to link to. So another good one might be your online mortgage application. If you have 
uh, you, of course, you should have a URL for that too. So it might be click here to um, send an, an application or click here to book an appointment. And maybe it goes to, if you use Calendly, okay, they can immediately book in your schedule or maybe it even links to your email, whatever it may be. Um, it's just offering, you know, the easiest access to get in touch with you possible. All right, um, so then I'm going to go and add something else in. So maybe I'm going to change. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to change this little light bulb. So you can see you can move it around too. Resizing is easy. It's just simply uh, click and drag. Edit photo, so it's going to allow you to even adjust crop. You know, maybe, maybe you want to put a filter on it. Like, really, the the limits are pretty endless there. Um, and then I'm just going to drag. So I just dragged, and I'm going to drop. Oh, some of them are not compatible. Okay, not the right size. That's okay. But maybe you know, I'm just going to pick something else. Maybe it's this little ticketing sub maybe I'm doing like a this is your ticket for a free mortgage checkup admit you know one or something like along those lines okay or you can put your you can put anything you want really as long as the formatting is compatible um I believe it needs to be like png jpeg and not too big of a file okay and then I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna show you for example's sake um, how I would link to my, uh, or even generate a QR code to my website. So this is um, one of our mortgage architects agents. This is Marcy Dean. And if I were Marcy, this is how I would generate my code. So I simply just go to my webpage or wherever I'm directing them. And I right click. And I'm using Chrome, by the way. Um, I believe you need to be using Chrome in order for this to work. Um, so Safari, Firefox, et cetera, I don't know that they have the same capability. And I just click Create QR Code. It's that simple. And there you go. I've got my QR code here. <laughs> A little cute dinosaur figure there. Um, and that you can download it, you can save it, you can put it in your email signature, put it anywhere really, um, even, you know, just post it on social media and, and you can copy that. So I'm just gonna download and here we go. Okay, so now I've got my QR code, I've saved it. I'm going to just drag and drop it in and put it down there. So now my whole clicker scan to book a checkup makes sense, right? Um, Cause they can easily scan this using their phone. Any uh, questions, guys? Pretty simple, pretty easy stuff. Again, you can add it, add any element you want, really make it your own. If you don't like the animation, get rid of it. You know, if you want more, add it in, um, get, just get creative with it. And the more you play around with it, the better you'll get. And the, and you know, the more, the higher quality your, your content really will look. Okay. Okay. Uh, request missed how I linked the click. Okay. Yes. So I just simply, it's the same as you do um, in, you know, Word or Outlook or something. I just highlighted the word. So whichever word I wanted to link. And then when I do that, this little link button pops up. And I just simply enter the URL of um, wherever I want it to link. So let's say I'm linking to um, my web page, my <laughs> web page. I just click on it. And oh, sorry. And there we go. So I've copied the URL. It's on my copy right now. Click the link paste it in and that's it. Just hit enter. Okay. And then now it's linked and good to go. Okay. I can change this text around too. If I want, I can add more circles really 
like there is just so much you can do here um creativity wise it's and it is a lot of fun too you know the more the more you get going with it the more fun you're, you're truly gonna have so that's how I took something like this and I just made it my own I took the basic template made it my own stuck with the whole did you know light bulb idea but made it applicable to my business um okay many ways to share too so in canva it'll allow you actually there is a qr code generator in there too uh so that's another way you can generate your own qr codes um other than, other than the way that i showed you um it allows you to create presentations um send to phone so if you want to you know text something to somebody send it through there uh, share a link to watch, share it on social. So again, you can connect this with, you know, your Facebook and direct share to there, um, just make it a lot easier for you. And it, it will keep that formatting um, consistent and nice. Um, so really just endless opportunities. Okay, this is a fun creative idea um, that one of our agents said Sherry did. Yes, it, it is easy. Thank you, Chris. Um, so she actually did like a vision board workshop with um, some, you know, clients or referral partners, uh, where they kind of got together, brought their laptops, and then use, you know, picked their templates and created their vision board for 2023. Um, and talked about, you know, goal setting, um, and not just professional, but also, you know, personal, fun, travel, fit and fab. This is something so great to do um, with those you're hoping to work closely with because it helps you not only them, you know, get to know you and bond with you, but you to get to know them, them too. So then when it comes to maybe, you know, gifting or anything like that, maybe I did this vision board with Sherry and I know that she loves going to her cottage at the lake or whatnot. So I, can get her a cottage themed gift or buy her a gift card for the, you know, her favorite shop down the street or something like that. So it just allows you to really get to know them better than them to get to know you. Um, and then what she did with them after she went and just got them printed and like hand delivered them or mailed them to each of them. And that, that just really went a long way. Um, I think a lot of them kind of put this up in their office at home and it's just something really fun um, and a nice memory for everyone too. So just a, just a fun random idea of what you can do with Canva. All right, um, that kind of brings us to full circle, unless there's anything else you guys want to see, um, short and sweet. If you need help or, you know, you're a little unsure, um, Canva does have an online design school for beginners, so lots of great training material. Um, I I think it's completely um, free of charge to, to attend as well. And it's probably on demand. So you can, you know, fast forward, rewind, review, pick your topic of interest, things like that. Um, and then it also has this keyword search on screen and on screen tour. So if you want to take a tour, just um, request that it, it show you, shows you through. But actually, if you type in the little word slash, it'll allow you to do a keyword search too. So if I want to go and search, for example, uh, like Facebook sizing or anything along those lines, any questions you have, uh, try typing in the keyword and chances are it'll link to, you know, a quick uh, screenshot um, explanation or, or a quick video or things like that. And then they do, of course, have uh, like a, a call center that you can call for help, but usually faster to, to try to find the answer yourself first. All right, guys. So that's it for today. I hope that, you know, you learned something, um, just how simple it really is and how many opportunities there are to be creative. And I think the more that you go along with it, the more things that will come to mind. And now when you're on social media, I'm sure that you'll recognize or at least um, take note of some things that, you know, some people have created and you might say, hmm, I think that was done in Canva. And, you know, that was probably a lot less complicated to create than I than I think. Um, you, you, yeah, you'd be surprised. So awesome. Thank you guys for coming. Um, we have someone trying to join right now. Unfortunately, they're late. So um, I'm always going to have the recordings uh, to send around. This is, you know, free to attend, free to share. So please do uh, contact me if you have any questions or want to talk about these things. This is the stuff that I love. Um, so we're going to have another session on the last Monday of um, August. So last Monday of every month, look out for two o'clock p.m. ET. Um, and we're going to cover different topics. All right, guys, thanks so much. I'm going to sign off here. Uh, again, let me know if any questions or anything comes up. But uh, enjoy the rest of your, hopefully not as rainy as here, but enjoy the rest of your uh, Monday afternoon.
Bye.